Welcome to Imprint 3 Presentation Export. The best way to familiarize yourself with the Presentation Export feature is to choose an example that is similar in approach to your learning objective. With over 50 pre-made examples to choose from, you should be able to find something suitable. The examples can all be found in the Resource Packs folder. So I'm selecting Resource Packs and Presentation. Double click to get into the folder. Subfolders with different presentation examples in. I'm choosing a quiz, double click. And I'm going to choose woodland animals. Again, a double click. Once you've selected your presentation, the easiest thing to do is to then export it so you can actually see how it works. And that's done through the file ribbon, top left and then export presentation, bottom right. Um, it will open it after export, so I can just export. And here it is in PowerPoint, which is what I use, but you can go into Google Slides too. And I'm just going to play this so that you get the idea. So this is initial letters. We're just navigating as you would normally do through any presentation um, software. What's the initial letter that works for um, rabbit? So we can try B. No, that's not right. Let's go back to the question again. Uh, let's try R. Yes, that's correct. It is a rabbit. Move on to the next question. So hopefully you've got the idea. We'll come out of there. Go back into imprint three. Um, if you're going to amend an existing example, it's best to save a copy first. So that's done if, again from the file ribbon, save as, save document as, and then save that uh, wherever you want to. Into formatting to start to change and amend it. So I'm going to change this one to um, sea creatures. So just as you would normally do in any Imprint 3 document, I'm just going to remove that, type in C, and my symbol will appear automatically. Moving on to my next slide, let's change the rabbit for an octopus. So again, clicking on the image, just deleting that one. IP an octopus appears automatically. Choose the correct symbol that you want. Better change the text as well. Um, and then I can leave the um, existing letters, obviously changing the incorrect one, putting in the O there. Now you will notice that when I type in that cell, I get a little link up here in the top right. If I left click on that link, it will show me to follow the link, edit the link or remove the link. So if we just follow this link, that's going to show me where I will go. So to the correct slide. So now obviously we need to amend this one as well. Because we've no longer got a rabbit, we've now got an octopus. Um, I'll go back to that original slide um, and just check the incorrect answers. So if I left click an incorrect answer and have a look at my link. So this one is linking to slide 19. So if we can left click on that, follow that link. No, try again is the correct answer. Go back to that beginning again. Now, obviously, you can work through each of the different slides, uh, changing the animals, changing the, the letters, etc. But there are some other changes that we might want to make. So the background here is now not really suitable to see animals. So I want to change the background. Now, this is probably the hardest bit in the presentation export. 
it's done through the pages ribbon and edit header and footer. So your background effectively sits in your header. On the right hand side, we have given you lots of resources to help in presentation export. Now these sit within the widget media files. So if I just go back home, I can show you um, where they are from the root. So widget media, down here at the bottom, presentation, backgrounds, two different sizes, I'm using widescreen. So you've got borders, seasonal, shapes and patterns and themes. I'm going to go into themes and I'm going to just find one that's to do with water. So this one here looks um, a good one. So left click, sits on my cursor, and I just drop that in the header space. And then I can just drag to resize that onto the screen. And you can see that that's then changed it on every um, one of the slides. Once you've dropped that slide in place, you then need to close the header. So on the header and footer ribbon, we can close that header and footer. And that's everything sorted for our backgrounds. Other things that you can do, let's go on to the correct answer and have a look at the button. We may want to change the button. We might think that the colors aren't correct on this one now. Now, this is an image. And if I want to change that button, the first thing I need to do is to delete the existing one. So I'm just clicking delete on my keyboard and OK. We can then go and find some buttons. So I'm just navigating back up through the backgrounds into the buttons folder of presentation. And I can see the different color combinations that I've got. So we'll go for a blue one, uh, maybe a square one this time. Pick it up, drop it into position. Now I now need to put a link onto this one. And on my presentation ribbon, I can add a link to the slide. It can go to the next slide, previous, the first, the last, the last viewed, and any particular number of slide that I want. This one's just going to the next question, so it will be the next slide and OK. And you can now see that the link is there. And if I follow that, take me onto my next slide ready to change. As well as adding links into the presentation, we could also add a link um, to a web page. So if I have a link um, to a web page from my octopus, so I can choose the cell, gain on my presentations ribbon. This time I could add a web link. And then I can just copy and paste a, an appropriate web page into there so that within the presentation, when I clicked on the image of the octopus, it would take me to a web page about more, more about octopus. So that's how you would um, amend an existing uh, presentation. Obviously, then we would go back to file, um, save the changes we've made, and then export it in the same way as we did uh, at the beginning. If you didn't want to amend an existing one, then within templates and the presentations folder, you again, you have some blank presentations from each of those different categories. So if I go into quiz again, this is the initial letter one that we've used. So this one um, still has the background that would need to be changed but you haven't got any particular animals or anything else in there. So you could effectively start from scratch there. If you prefer to begin right from the beginning, then again, in your templates, you have some blank pages. So if we go into presentation widescreen, um, completely blank, presentation mode will allow you to put in background colors, manage your slides, 
from widget media, you can obviously put in those backgrounds in the same way as we did through the header and footer tab. So I hope you have seen the benefits of using uh, presentation export in Imprint 3. We would be delighted to see any examples of presentations that you've made, and you can share them through our social media channels.